a bumper on a show is coming up, and they tell you what's coming up after the commercial break. So on those bumpers, instead of just having that, I wanted to put entertainment in. So we decided to do these little short animated things. And one of those short animated things was The Simpsons. I had known Matt's work, Matt Groening's work, and, had, and somebody had given me a gift of one of his uh, pieces for the LA Free Press, you know, one of, the, one of his originals about the 12 ways to die in Los Angeles after I did Terms of Endearment. And there was, you know, drive-bys and things like that. And then the last two were failure and then success. So somebody had given that gift to me, and I always loved it. And I called Matt, and he came in. And on the ride in to see me, he drew what became The Simpsons. And we did these, you know, at the time, you know, looking back, crude Simpsons version of these, of these bumpers on the show. And then there hadn't been an animated primetime series for 30 years, I think. And we had a chance to do one on this new network that was failing, by the way. And they, uh, they didn't want us, you know, and I, we'd had the Christmas party for the movies and for, you know, for, for the Tracy Ullman show. And, and one of the animators at the time came up to me and spoke with such passion about how much he wanted a primetime show. It made a great impact on me. It had been Matt's dream forever. So we asked them to do it, but, we, but I had lived with the world of series commitments, which means they, you don't just do a pilot. They guarantee you that you have a series. And in this case, since it takes six months to animate one of these, you couldn't do a pilot. You had to gamble on a series, which they didn't want to do. And that went back and forth for a long time. And finally, they agreed. It got pretty hairy. And, uh, and we made them. <laughs>